Kha a bit earlier on. Well, we spoke to the head of the Center for Healthcare Associated Infections at the National Institute for Communicable Diseases, Professor Nalesh Gavender. He discussed how they plan to contain the Klebsiella outbreak. As soon as the outbreak was detected, um, the, the unit's infection control practices were ramped up. Um, babies who were either infected or colonized, by colonized I mean carrying this particular drug-resistant strain, so babies who were either infected or colonized were cohorted, so grouped together or isolated so that they would not come into contact with other babies. Um, the healthcare workers were also instructed to maintain contact precautions, which means that um, they use aprons, um, they make sure that they adhere to appropriate hand hygiene practices because that's really how this infection spreads. Um, and that's really the focus of how to prevent and to stop the spread of these sorts of infections. All of this is amplified by overcrowding in a neonatal unit where, as was discussed um, previously, this, this, this unit has 61 beds. And at the time that we did an audit, um, there were 90 babies in that particular facility. So that, that really puts mm. pressure on nursing staff. It puts pressure on medical staff. And I think that that leads to breaches in infection control. Well, Prof, I mean, the health minister has been talking about how other hospitals uh, in Gauteng are at about 132% in terms of their numbers and overcrowding. How worried are you then that we could see more and more of these outbreaks in other uh, hospitals? Because I suppose part of the reason you have to be informed as soon as there's a detection of this kind of uh, you know, outbreak as the NICD is to ensure that you up your vigilance uh, to ensure that it doesn't spread to other facilities. How worried are you of that possibility? We're very concerned and we are trying to be proactive. We have an active surveillance system in place. Um, we're piloting a system to um, detect outbreaks in neonatal units. And so hopefully that will be uh, available for neonatal um, units um, in, a, in a month or so. Uh, but we do have active surveillance. We are concerned because, as you point out, there are similar situations in various neonatal units across Gauteng and possibly across the, across the country.